Good morning, welcome to Bookmas. My name is JC. If you haven't seen my face before, today's video, we are going to some local bookstores in my hometown. I have this downtown area that we call Mass Street. It is so cute on its own, but it's extra cute right now because it's decorated so well for Christmas. It's essentially this long street, blocks and blocks, full of all these local stores, you know, restaurants, clothing stores, knickknacks, stationery. All, you name it, right? It's there. But for the point of this video, it has two bookstores. One that focuses on new books and the other focuses on used. So of course I'm in town. I'm going to want to go to the local bookstores, but also it's Christmas season and I have some things that I want to get for some bookish people in my life. So I'm hoping I can find them at those two stores, but I also think the new store can order it to their store like if they don't have it in stock or something so i'm hoping to really shop a local this season so i feel like it'll be perfect to go there for christmas anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and we're gonna head downtown okay i just got ready i just threw on a sweater and some jeans and then i'll throw some shoes on when i head out but let's go downtown Just got done eating at the Burger Sand, and now we're in the bookstore. This place is literally a dream. We're in the Raven Bookstore, which is only new books. So, we'll see what I can find. Mm. I feel so good. Um, it's almost four o'clock, so I was gone for a few hours. Guys, I love Sonic. Like I associate Sonic with like the Midwest and my childhood and I love it. I love it. Mm. I always get a raspberry sweet tea or a vanilla root beer. So if you have a Sonic near you, those two things. Overall, I was kind of surprised that downtown was as busy as it was, but I guess it was a Friday afternoon and it's the holiday season. So it kind of makes a little more sense. It was very gloomy today and it actually started raining while we were down there. Nothing like a downpour, so that was nice, but it did kind of speed up the process of looking at the bookstores. So overall, I'm never going to show 
a holiday or Christmas gift that I'm getting anyone in a video because I just would hate for anything to accidentally get spoiled. But at the Dusty Bookshelf, I found two books that I was interested in that I knew I didn't put on any of my list of like, hey guys, please buy me these books for Christmas. So the first one is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I have seen people talk about this a little bit, so enough that I remember someone talking about it and I added it to my list. But I believe it is a, what's, what's the fairy tale? Beauty and the Beast retelling of some sort because they kind of describe it as Cursed to repeat the autumn of his 18th year, Prince Wren of Emberfall thought he could be saved easily if a girl fell for him, but that was before he turned into a vicious beast and destroyed his castle, his family, and every last shred of hope. It's giving Beauty and the Beast, you know what I mean? So that is what I think this is ultimately about and I'm excited to read it because I have heard good things about it. And then I got Daughter of the Pirate King. Now this is similar to the other where people have talked about it and they've talked about it well, well enough that I knew I'd put it on like my overall big wish list and ultimate TBR, but I couldn't remember what it was about. And so I just read the first line. It says, sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map. And I was like, okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. That's all I want to know. That's all I need to know. And so I picked this up as well. And they're also both in really good condition. Like this is from the used bookstore. And I was just definitely impressed. But it was so nice to go downtown. Um, it was me and my uncle that went. And we're like adventure buddies. Like, he was the one that moved out to Florida with me my senior year. And he was just like kind of wanting a change in his life. And my senior year of college was like COVID. Like people were kind of going back to school, but not the same way. So him and I just got a nice apartment and it was just so fun. And so like, I feel like that really stemmed us going on all these random adventures together. of Just like, hey, I'm bored. You want to go for a drive? And all of a sudden we're on this drive that's like, I don't know, three hours away or something. Um... So yeah, ever since then, like that year of living together, I feel like we've we've done so much. And so um, he's also a very big book lover. And so I had said, like, I want to go downtown to these bookstores. So that's what we did. He just came and picked me up and we went down there. I think he bought a Stephen King book. He found one that he had already read, but it had been like several years. So he was like, I won't remember it. And it's a new book in my eyes. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good to find those locally because those are on my list and I would have like bought them eventually but it was just nice to buy them at a local bookstore. I have to see. So I know that in the Laguna Beach, like the Laguna Beach books and Beach Town books in San Clemente, they both have ways you can order online. So I would love to know if these as well, like I know I can do like online pickup stuff from these or for sure the Raven bookstore that sells new stuff, but I just don't know if they have the easy online ordering system as well. So I want to check that out, but it was an overall successful day. I also plan to be going to some Kansas City bookstores and I definitely am taking you guys along that journey as well. I think my uncle and I are going to go next week, so I'm so excited. This was just like Hey, I have to do some work stuff in the morning, but I have the afternoon off. Do you just want to run downtown, go to the bookstores, kind of see what they're about? Because I don't think he had been to either of these bookstores. I am obsessed with that Raven bookstore. Like, just as a new bookstore, like, that is just so cute. It was so cute. And then the Dusty Bookshelf is, like, fun and enjoyable for what it is. It's just it didn't have a ton of options for the books that I like. Like, I was very glad to find these two and I mean I don't know you guys know those bookstores that they're like organized in ways and not in others so sometimes you just really have to hunt for various books and if you have the time it's so great but if you're like in and out just trying to like find sections that you like it it can be hard okay that's all I'm gonna say it can be a little hard but it was enjoyable for what it was and I enjoyed going to both and I also look forward to going up to Kansas City. I think we're going to do that next week and that will be a separate video and I'll just be, you know, going to Kansas City bookstores. But I like today. Today was wholesome and I'm glad that I could take you downtown and show you some local bookstores in my hometown and just mastery again. Mastery is just so precious. 
Like it's really sweet at night with all the lights up and then there is just something about it during the daytime as well. I don't know. I like it because it's not quite a small town feel but it's just like quaint. It's quirky and quaint and I adore it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.